working for me for five and a half years. I got to hold her first son. His name is Harrison. But I call him Winston Churchill. <laughs> and the reason I call him Winston Churchill is because he had no hair <laughs> when he was born. And I held him in my arms and he looked like he was to become a great leader one day. And it just came to me. Winston Churchill. So shortly after he was born, our whole office was eagerly awaiting, uh, eagerly waiting, uh, her second this summer. We were all jolted when we all received the news that Leslie's baby had suddenly passed away. As a part of her grieving, she began a fundraiser to help other families who also lost a child. The effort has raised over $13,000 in a week, and she is continuing to accept donations. I am immensely proud to be mayor of a community where people support and uplift one another through hard times. And I'm equally proud of Leslie and Adam. The wonderful people, great parents. She's a superstar staffer, doing great things for this community in many ways. But now she's reaching out, gaining donations to help families all over the city of Columbus. This is somebody I'm very proud of, very meaningful to our city. So Leslie and Adam, please come forward. Thank you, Mayor. He is the best boss a person could have to lend his support to this cause for me. I sincerely appreciate the, court, the support of my family, both the one I was born into and also my entire City of Columbus family for supporting me through this difficult time. On June 19th, I delivered a beautiful son, Dean Curtis. Dean wasn't sick, he didn't have a disorder, and yet he was born still. Losing him was not an outcome that I had let enter my mind after the first trimester, and certainly not something I had considered would happen as I passed into the third. I know now that it's something that happens to a lot of families with over 24,000 stillbirths recorded in 2013 in the United States. My due date had originally been August 5th, and knowing that that would be a really hard day to live through, my husband and I decided to distract ourselves by launching a fundraiser to outfit as many hospitals as possible with cuddle cots. A cuddle cot is a device that keeps the baby cool in a bassinet at the mother's bedside, but what it actually does is help relieve some fear, anxiety, and panic for families who have lost a child, allowing them to live in the moment, counting their baby's toes, getting them dressed, kissing them. With very little time on earth, Dean has inspired over 270 people to donate over $13,000, and we're nearing 14,000. Many of the contributors are here today, and I thank you for your generosity. I've truly never felt more part of a community than I do today, looking out at all of your faces. As a result of launching this campaign, I became connected to two people who deserve recognition. Heather Johnson Welliver is a kindred spirit who took on a similar campaign to my own in honor of her daughter, Lydia. She would be here today, but we're relieved and overjoyed that she's at home with her newborn. Susan Wallace is the second person I'd like to specifically recognize. We met just a few months ago, but she quickly became a dear friend and my partner in this work. Combined, our efforts will outfit nearly every Columbus area hospital with this important device, and we intend to continue fundraising to help as many families as possible. These cuddle cots are relatively new technology. We're making their way to U.S. hospitals for the first time in 2014. I'm confident their use will soon be a standard of care 
thanks to the respective institutions, like the ones here today, leading the way. Each hospital has my sincere gratitude for acknowledging that proper goodbyes are especially important for readying families like ours to cope with life after loss, and that assisting during the early stages of grief is an important role that hospitals play. Thanks to each of you for being here to honor our son. And thanks especially to Mayor Coleman and Council President Ginther for bringing much needed attention to reducing infant loss rates and improving the care of families who experience a similar loss.